Do you remember me? I remember Taipei. I remember the movement, the sounds, the smells of Taipei. I remember she men, the kids in the streets, the colors, the crowds, the consumption. I remember that little restaurant where I listened to you talk. I remember the records on which our hands played. I remember the words you said, the sentences you spoke, a flood from your sweet lips. I walk in the streets to look for bars that you couldn't find anymore, and where you spent time before heading to other shores. I remember the shadows of the people we came across, the streets where we moved our bodies, mine that was so pale, and yours, so feline. I remember the red theatre, its roundness, the art for sale, and around it, like a half circle, the gay street above, that little piece of Soho that we discovered by chance that you'd never been to before, a reflection of your tolerant country. I remember the bookstore where we mentioned so many great names in such a small space of time: Jack Kerouac, Ian McEwan. Henri Cartier-Bresson, Hemingway, Irvin Welsh, John Keats, Araki Nobuyoshi, Lee Ang. I remember the trees in the Taiwanese night, the ghostly glow that haunted the parks, the mysteries contained in the checkered lights of the surrounding buildings. I remember our hotel, the romantic character I gave it in my mind, and the screams of pleasure off-screen. Which resonated through the corridors on Saturday night. I remember the mirror with its light on top, your way of looking at yourself so often, as if you were asking yourself whether you were really here, whether that was really you, here, in this hotel room, with a foreigner. I remember Taiwan so well, and you, and the days we spent together. My memory is so clear when I think of you. You in Taiwan. I remember the towns where I travelled alone, but was always joined by my desire to be with you. Keelung, Heilan, Hualien, Taitung, and Taroko. Clandestine routes to isolated coves, making our way to the waves that crashed constantly against the sand of the eastern coast. I barely remember Kaohsiung, the grey and rainy Kaohsiung, the wide avenues of Kaohsiung where I knew no one and so wanted to be with you. I remember Taichung, the rafts on the pond. The park full of sleeping men, a surprising statue that was impossible to understand. Your arrival at the train station one Sunday in the middle of the crowd, the young streets, that youthful energy that we already missed, but which we hoped to preserve a small piece of by immersing ourselves in it completely. I remember the picture-perfect path at Tung Hai University, its majestic trees, its Japanese influence, and that time capsule. Sealed for 50 years like a live history experiment, an underground performance for the people of the future. Bus rides in the evening, shopping centres, our hands touching gently, and our shoulders side by side. I remember that ridiculously pretty song written in my language that we took up in unison as a duet, 
First laughing at my inability to sing in tune, then at your charming accent, before being submerged little by little in its sweet sadness, its disarming simplicity, moved suddenly by the lyrics we were singing which rang so true for us. I remember our return to Taipei by train, the night falling so fast, as always, sunset replaced by the ending day's darkness, and we were anonymous travellers amongst the others, Taiwan unfolding through the window, bento box dinner and shared laughter. All those memories are still here, dense or fragile, intact or muddled by the endless march of time frail trembling images from a past which has come to caress the surface of the present. I remember our last night, the final moments we spent together engraved in our memory, before the night passed us by and before the bus which would take me to the airport. I contemplate, alone, the sun rising slowly in the east, a new day dawning on your country, your island, and me returning home while you remain there. I remember that daybreak, my sadness, but above all the certainty I had at that instant. Rarely had I been as alive as during those few days I just spent with you. Yes, alive. Alive.